Welcome to the Sugar Connect Managing Emails in Google Workspace video. In this video, we'll outline how to use Sugar Connect to easily archive emails, use your Sugar Email templates, and set a delay on emails that you want to send later. We'll start with how to archive emails. Anytime an email is sent to or received from an email address that is associated with the Sugar contact, Sugar Connect can archive the message to that contact and its parent account. Emails will be archived to any Sugar contacts and accounts that match the email addresses in the message to, from, cc, and bcc fields. There are a few ways you can archive emails in Gmail. You can do a quick archive. This will instantly archive the email and its attachments to Sugar and relate the email to the Sugar record with a matching email address. You can also archive with options. This is going to allow you to select which attachments to save and select the sugar records that you want to relate the archived email to. Or, you can apply the copy to CRM Gmail label to quick save one or more messages on the next sugar sync. Let's take a look at how to do a quick archive. For existing messages in your inbox, when viewing the message, click on the messages sugar icon and select quick archive to sugar to instantly save the email to Sugar and relate it to the Sugar records that match the email addresses in the to, from, cc, or bcc fields. In this example, the email was saved to Michelle Sugarbee's contact in Sugar. Let's look at the process for when you're composing a new message. You'll want to make sure that you populate your email first. Once that's complete, you'll click on the Sugar icon and select Archive to Sugar. When the message is sent, it will be related to any sugar record with the matching email address. Now one thing I want to note here, you can confirm that an outgoing message is ready to quick archive by looking at the quick archive to sugar menu option. The text and icon will have changed to blue text with a checkbox enabled if it has been queued for quick archive. If before you send your message you decide you do not want to archive it, you can reverse the quick archive by clicking on the option again and then sending your email. Now that we've seen the quick archive to sugar in action, let's move on to archiving via the archive with options functionality. The archive with options feature will open the full archive window and let you manually select the sugar records you want to relate to the email as well as which attachments you'd like to save. And this functionality is available for both existing email messages in your inbox as well as new messages that you're composing through Gmail. For existing messages, you'll want to open the email that you'd like to archive. Click on the sugar icon and select Archive with Options. You'll then get a pop-up on your screen and it's automatically going to show you any related records found in Sugar. So I can see that we have an account record for Cloud Clover Trust and a contact for Andrea. I can select which records I'd like to archive to by checking the boxes next to those records. If I'm not finding the information that I'd like, I can go to the search tab and search for the records that I'd like to archive to in Sugar. Now there are no attachments in this email, but one thing I want to note is if there are attachments linked to the email that you're archiving, they're automatically going to be checked to archive. So you'll want to be sure that you uncheck the boxes for any attachments that you do not want to archive to Sugar during this process. All right, I'm able to see that this email is going to be archived to Cloud Clover Trust and my contact Andrea Sugar. I'm going to click Save. Upon saving the email messages, this content is going to be copied to an email type record and any attachments are going to be saved within the notes module in Sugar. So the new email and the new note record are going to be related to Andrea Sugar and Cloud Clover Trust in my Sugar instance. This option is also available when composing a new message. You just want to be sure that you've entered your recipients, subject, body, and any attachments to your email before clicking the sugar icon and archive with options. You can also archive by using the copy to CRM mailbox label. Let's take a look at how to utilize that option. When you installed Sugar Connect, a custom label was created in your Gmail mailbox that you can apply to mail messages that you'd like to archive to sugar. The nice thing about this option is that if you want to archive many emails at a time, you can do so by using the copy to CRM label. 
You'll find it nested under the Sugar Connect label on the left-hand side of your mailbox. To archive a number of emails at once, you'll select the messages and drag them to the Copy to CRM label. Once you've selected your emails to be archived and you've dragged and dropped them into the Copy to CRM label, those emails will automatically be archived to Sugar upon the next server sync so long as they have email addresses that match records within Sugar. Just keep in mind, if a matching email address is not found, those emails will not sync to Sugar. If you'd like to set up emails to Auto Archive, you can do so by clicking on the down arrow in the Gmail search bar. If you'd like to auto archive for all senders, you can put an asterisk in the from field, or you can specify certain sender domains or keywords to refine the messages that you'd like to be automatically archived to Sugar. Once you've entered your criteria, you're going to click on Create Filter. You'll then be taken to this screen. You're going to check the box for Apply the Label, and you're going to choose Sugar Connect Copy to CRM. From there, you'll click Create Filter, and what this means is that once the filter is created for all incoming messages, they will automatically be put into the Copy to CRM folder and archived to Sugar if a matching email address is found. All right, now that we've covered archiving, let's take a look at using Sugar email templates through Sugar Connect. Sugar Connect communicates with your Sugar instance to retrieve email templates that you've created in your instance. If you choose to use a Sugar template through Sugar Connect, any variables in that template are detected and filled in automatically. To access your email templates, you can compose a new message, reply to or forward an existing message. Then you'll click on the Sugar icon and select Insert Template. You'll see a list of templates that you're allowed to see based on your team membership, user type, and assigned roles in Sugar. From here, you can scroll through the different templates available to you or expand your action menu. And within that action menu, you can search email templates from your Sugar instance. Clicking Create Template is going to take you to the Email Templates module in Sugar, where you can create a brand new email. Or you can refresh. This is going to reload the list of email templates from your Sugar instance. We're going to select the Checking In template. Once I've clicked on it, it's going to load a preview of that template on the right-hand side, and the name of the leader contact that matches the recipient's email address in Sugar will appear above the preview. If you don't already have your message populated with an email address, you can put in the name of the leader contact that you'd like to include in the email. I'm going to go ahead and add Michelle. By populating Michelle's name here, once I insert this template into my email, it's going to populate her information accordingly. Now, if you need to make any changes to the template, when looking at the preview, there's an Edit Template button. Clicking that will take you directly into the template in Sugar, and there you can make and save any necessary changes. Just a heads up, if you're making changes to a template in Sugar, you'll want to use the Refresh option in the Email Templates menu. This will ensure that you're getting the most up-to-date information and any changes that have been made to the template. This looks good, so I'm going to click Insert. Once I've inserted my template, I'm able to continue editing if needed. When everything looks good, I can go ahead and send the email. Last but not least, we'll take a look at the Send Later option available with Sugar Connect. If you'd like to schedule an email to be sent later, you can use the Send Later feature. It lets you set a date and time in the future to send the message from Gmail. All you have to do is compose an email message, then click on the sugar icon and select Send Later. From here, you can select when exactly you'd like the email to be sent. I'm going to select Custom, and we're going to send this on Lou's birthday, which is December 16th. I'll set this to send at 9 a.m. Pacific time, and we're going to click Confirm. The email message will close and be queued to send later. These emails are stored in the Drafts folder under Sent and can be reviewed by clicking the Schedule Emails badge on the sidebar. You should now have an understanding of how to archive emails, use your Sugar email templates, and schedule an email with the Send Later option using Sugar Connect. Thanks for watching.